Listen, check it out. We got the notorious John Wayne. We on Boston Road between Corsa and Fenton Avenue in front of Tony's Pizza. It's a fact. And um, we just want to let you know a little about this urban legend who's notorious in the five boroughs in various states. And um, I'm just helping him promote himself. He's a very, no doubt, very, no very, very good, talented Will artist. Please give me the mic. And he's um, starving for the mic, so he will tell you Give the rest. Give me the mic. Yo, what's going on? Yes, yes, y'all. Yo, we the best, y'all. We the fresh, y'all. Yo, we pass every fucking test, y'all. Yo, please forgive me of my language, because I'm kind of like tipsy. Yeah, that's real. But yo, on the strength, the boogie down is my hometown, and that's how we get down. When it comes down to not acting like a clown, we are the creators, not imitators, not fakers, but we definitely are earthquakers. So my phone number is 518. Remember this, in the name of Jesus, 518 7202337. All the way to heaven. Yes, sir. God bless you. You know what I'm saying? I'm a very, I'm a very spiritual type of brother. Even though I slip sometimes in the hood. Thank God I ain't never get killed or ever get shot or ever get stabbed. But we're gonna get down to the to the meat and potatoes. When I first started out doing my artwork, I started out in a spot called Pick and Choose. Alright? Pick How long ago was that? That was 19. 19- 1979, 1979, I went to this school on Boston Road called St. Philip and James Catholic School. I'm not a Catholic, I'm a Baptist boy in the name of Jesus. But listen, as I say, as hip hop was first created right here in the Bronx, New York, there was a brother called DJ Cool Herc and the Herculoids, all right? He's from Seymour Avenue. God bless him, you know what I'm saying? His son's still running around, that's my man. You understand what I'm saying? And after that, there was another brother called DJ Flash and the Furious Five. And then there was another brother called DXT, the Infinity Rappers. I don't know if you know anything. Grand Mixer, I don't know. I don't know if you know about these brothers, but these brothers is live. You understand what I'm saying? That was my first start hearing hip hop. Right across the street as I speak where the hardware store is at where I used to pick up my spray paint. Is a used to be a place, a record store, okay? The first hip hop record I brought was um, King Tut. Dollar bill, y'all. So you already know how this thing gonna flow and go. And so when I, right. so when I started out, I went to Truman High, okay. After I went to Truman High, I, I was introduced to a brother named Jace, Big Ock, Munger, Harold Munger. That's Puff Daddy's bodyguard, okay. And Wolf, God bless the dead, and Gertie. God bless the dead from Section 5. Now, when we was in Truman, we came across a white brother named Med, M-E-D, Joe. Okay, right now, he has a business called Tough City Tattoos, located right here down on Fordham Road, right around the, the, uh, the Bronx Zoo. But anyway, we all, we all been together, we've been friends. But I first got my big, big introducing by DJ Brucey e. B. Brucey e. B introduced me to Gusto. Gusto from Harlem, across the street from the Rucker. I used to airbrush t-shirts late at night. But in the morning time, I used to work on Wings on 3rd Avenue, 149th Street. Yo, is it true you used to do shit with Swiss Beats when he was up there? That's a, f- no, not Swiss Beats. K Slate, Keith Grayson, the nigga that owns Straight Stunting, that's my nigga. The first time I seen him was in East River Projects at my cousin's house. But we gonna get down to the meat and potatoes, all right? You know I used to work over there, right? Listen, <laughs> listen, we do what we do. Don't never be judgmental. 
Always be successful. You will never be stressed as long as you're blessed. Always remember, I've been in and out the joint all my life, all right? Drugs, alcohol, freaking off, doing this, that doing that. Time, you know what? Gotta let him know. He's getting on my goddamn nerves. That's all right. We He's starting to, to piss know. me off. I'm about to lose my false teeth. We're going to edit this one, but don't say Yo, check this out. Get the number. <laughs> Yo, this is my number, 518. In the name of Jesus, one more time, 518-720-1111. Five, five, yeah, all the way to heaven. Yo, that's a fact. But I'm ready to get my freak on, get my drink on, to the break of dawn. Woo, I love sloppy top. You understand? There's something about sloppy top. Let's keep it clean, John. All right, that will change your life. But anyway... We, we'll get back to that. But anyway, I do designs on strippers, body art, and all of that good shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm a hip-hop fanatic. I'm a hip-hop soul. I'm a hip-hop creator. How old is hip-hop? He asked the question. How, How old, old is, is goddamn hip-hop? That's right. Answer the question. Hip-hop been yeah. rocking. Shit. Yo, you remember this nigga named James Brown? They used to say, please, please, please. Yeah, yo. <laughs> this nigga had a drummer. This nigga had a drummer. Call. This nigga had a drummer called Funky Funky Drummer. That was his nickname. I wanna bust the floor. Yo, that nigga, yo, they sample that shit so much. That's part of hip hop. He had the most sample beats. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna talk you to death. I gotta get some glue for my teeth. But that's all right, but hold up. We don't wanna know about your personal stuff. I know, I know. Anyway, that. listen. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it true that? Also, as an artist, right. also as a graffiti artist, it's also true that you are a pretty good rapper. We're not going to get into that. That's another, another story. That's another story and another style. But we'll be back. Peace! John Wayne, let me get More drugs. <laughs> more, more. And like I said, we just interviewed the notorious John Wayne right here. And like I said, you can find the brother if you call him by his number, which is 518-720-2327. Call your local graffiti artist, John Wayne. We just immortalized his monkey ass. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know what? Oh, yeah, it was? Hold up. <laughs> She's blowing my fucking heart. <laughs> We're going to edit this shit. We ain't going to put all that. Signing off, y'all. And also, don't forget, Tony's, we, we right here. Tony's Pizza Shop right here. This is the spot. Been here over 30 years. Been here right over 30 This is a fixture in, in, in the place. And um, you could come see my man and get a nice slice. Signing off, y'all. Y'all have a blessed one.